Good YouTube, it's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at you with another one. <clears throat> yeah, I'm ski matched up today. You know what I'm saying? But um, anyway, straight to business. So, it's looking like Deontay Wilder could possibly face Dominic Brazil in, um, in June. Reason being, Eddie Hearn is not trying to put Anthony Joshua in the ring with, with Deontay Wilder at least until the end of 2018. Possibly the beginning of 2019. It's not looking like Eddie Hearn wants that fight. Eddie Hearn has now come out and said that he wants um, Deontay Wilder to fight Dylan White, which we already knew. But now he's coming out and he says that he's going to push the WBC to order a mandatory for Deontay Wilder to have to face Dillian White in June. What does this have to do with Dominic Brazil? I'm gonna tell you. So Dominic Brazil is number two as a mandatory for the WBC with Dillian White being number one. That's not set in stone. That's just, as of right now, the standings. Looks like it's gonna be Dillian White number one, Dominic Brazil number two. Okay, so that means Deontay Wilder will have a choice. And because uh, uh, Eddie Hearn is trying to force Deontay Wilder to fight Dillian White in June for the WBC mandatory, and he wants to push it to be in the UK, the sources and uh, Boxing News 24, you can go do your research, even came out and said now that it's looking like Deontay Wilder, in that, if that was the case would would choose to fight Dominic Brazil in June over Dillian White in June in the UK and I have to agree with 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 Deontay Wilder if that be the case because he shouldn't let Eddie Hearn now how would Dillian White be the number one first of all let me say this Dillian White is a good fighter yes Lucas Brown was fat out of shape and people want to give him credit as if he beat Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, or Luis Ortiz. He didn't beat that caliber of fighter. Yes, I give him props for getting the victory over Lucas Brown. People are going to say Lucas Brown was undefeated. Lucas Brown was undefeated, but he fought tomato cans, and he's 39 years old. Let's be honest. Okay? So if you don't want to give Deontay Wilder credit for beating Luis Ortiz, saying Ortiz was old, then you cannot give Dylan White credit for beating 39-year-old Lucas Brown. With that being said, on paper, Lucas Brown is older than Luis Ortiz. People like to speculate that Ortiz is 40 plus years old, not 37. That's speculation. Nobody knows that for sure. But we do know for sure that Lucas Brown is 39. Okay, so if you're going to give, uh, uh, you're going to credit Dillian White for beating Lucas Brown because you're saying that, oh, look at how he demolished Lucas Brown, then you have to give Deontay Wilder credit for beating Luis Ortiz, who was a better skilled fighter. But we know why they're not going to do that. Because that's the hate for Deontay Wilder. But back to this, the uh, situation at hand. So Deontay Wilder should choose to fight Dominic Brazil over Dillian White. And people are going to say, oh, well, Anthony Joshua beat Dominic Brazil. He also beat and knocked out Dillian White. He actually beat Dillian White faster and, and knocked out Dillian White faster than he did Dominic Brazil. He didn't knock Dominic Brazil out to the seventh round. Okay, so with that being said, with the history that Deontay Wilder and Dominic Brazil have, the storyline, if you don't know, look it up. I'm not going to give you all that information right now. But there's a storyline. Um, I'll give you a short story. Dominic Brazil actually pressed charges on Deontay Wilder, saying that Deontay Wilder and his team beat him up and uh disrespected his wife in the hotel after they had after um Deontay Wilder beat up Gerald Washington on that card Dominic Brazil fought on the undercard and in the lobby after that there was an altercation Dominic Brazil was beat up he said Deontay Wilder and his team jumped him in front of his wife disrespected his wife and all types of stuff he pressed charges that be that so there's a storyline at least in the states so the preference would be to fight uh, Dominic Brazil with the storyline. That's actually a bigger fight here in the States. So that would be 
the better move and stick it to Eddie Hearn. And now he beats Dominic Brazil in June. What's Eddie Hearn's excuse? Because that gives Anthony Joshua uh, uh, time to have a, a fight after Joseph Parker. If he gets past Joseph Parker this Saturday. He gets past Joseph Parker this Saturday. And Deontay Wilder fights Dominic Brazil in June. Then Joshua can have another fight. And then what's the, what's the problem for them fighting at the end of the year? There shouldn't be no problem. So, you know, in my... In my in, in uh, my opinion, I think that that would that would be the better move for Deontay Wilder, fight Dominic Brazil, and uh, 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 skip that Dillian White fight. And they say, and sources are saying that the WBC won't order Deontay Wilder to have to fight um, Dillian White until after he fights a unification bout with Anthony Joshua, as long as he honors one mandatory, which would be Dominic Brazil. So if he beats Dominic Brazil, they're not going to order him to fight Dillian White. Then that forced Eddie Hearn to have to put Joshua in there for for a unification bout. Unification bouts take precedent over mandatories anyway. So that's all I got for this situation. That's the rumor. That's the inside sources. If you, uh, that's my inside sources. But if you need to go to Boxing News Twenty Four, and you can check out. They did an article about this as well. So that's all I got. Let me know what y'all think about this situation. Drop a comment in the comment section. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Peace.